And now turning it over to whether Ruben is here with the best times to find a cool place to be. Ruben? Well, yeah, it's definitely for tomorrow as well. Not as hot today as the past few days here, but we still have some heat to deal with. The good news is the extreme heat is behind us for now. I say that because we just started summer here. So we hit 102 today thanks to some cloud cover coming in from the Sierra that produced a few showers and the thunderstorms kind of acts as a shade barrier at the same time. Uh, some cool air was trying to spill into the coast, just not strong enough to knock out this ridge of high pressure over us, but just give it a few days and that ridge will finally move out of the way. We hit 102 in Madera, 101 in Hanford, 102 in Lemoore and Porterville, and the good news is we're finally moving away from records as well. Still a little hot this evening, 101 in Fresno now, 96 in Merced, 99 in Lemoore and Porterville, and we're actually a little bit cooler compared to this time yesterday thanks to that cloud cover spilling over the valley and that cool air trying to spill over the coast, but we have a stronger push of cool air that will move in by uh, Tuesday into Wednesday the coming week, bringing seasonable temperatures back to the valley. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s. A little breezy on the west side of the valley tonight. 14 mile hour winds in Lemoore, 10 in Fresno and Hanford. There's the cloud cover we've been talking about here. So we'll make for a nice sunset this evening. And this evening, not too bad, just a little warm. And right now we're at 101 degrees in Fresno as we look over Clovis, 168 in Shaw Avenue from our Hedrick Chevrolet Sky Camp towards the Save Mart Center. Winds are northwest about 10 miles this evening here. There was actually a little bit of shower activity in the Sierra, as you can see here from our time lapse from Glacier Point, thanks to YosemiteConservancy.org. Plenty of sunshine early on in the day in the Sierra, then about late afternoon, 4 o'clock or so, some showers develop over Half Dome. We've been a few thunderstorms as well, so this continues just for a few more hours. I think most of this energy will stay in the Sierra, but if you're on the east side of the valley, don't be surprised if you feel a sprinkler or two. There's the shower activity tonight from our radar towards Yosemite. Even a few light showers in the highest terrain of the Fresno County Mountains here, but everything's pretty much calm in the valley. We're going to have partly cloudy skies for tonight. This ridge stays in place just for a few more days. It looks like a trough will finally push it out of here once we get to the middle of the coming week here. A push of cool air will drop us back into the 90s and make things much more comfortable. But we're still under a heat advisory until 9 o'clock tomorrow night. San Joaquin River still under a flood advisory until Tuesday afternoon. Kings River still under a flood warning until 2 o'clock Monday afternoon. Best to stay away from the rivers. They're just too cold and the water's moving too fast for anyone to deal with. Moderate air quality for most of the valley tomorrow. Unhealthy for sensitive groups though in Fresno and Tulare counties. In the Sierra looking for partly sunny skies. Still a very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm up there. We're looking for temperatures in the 80s and 90s. So still a little warm. Cooler compared to the valley though. Photo committees, a couple of spots, Squaw Valley, Three Rivers in the triple digits for tomorrow, and also the foothills under a heat advisory as well. Tonight of the valley, partly cloudy skies, clearing overnight, still kind of mild, upper 60s to lower 70s. Tomorrow, another round of triple digit heat throughout most of the valley. Fresno at 104, uh, 103 in Kalinga, 103 in Visalia, and 102 in Madera. Here's the extended forecast, so temperatures in the triple digits just for a few more days here. 100 for Fresno on Monday. That means a good portion of the valley will be in the upper 90s. Then we have seasonable temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday and just a brief warm up to the upper 90s once we get to the end of the week here. But once we wrap up June and go forward in July, our average temperature is about 96, 97 degrees. So that's seasonable for this time of year. So the extreme heat is behind us for now. Just a few hot days to get through and things will feel much better by Tuesday into Wednesday. I was going to say coming into work today, I saw the overcast skies and I got really excited for a second and then I stepped <laughs> outside and it was still so hot. A little muggy too into the Reminded heat as well. Reminded me back of the East Coast. There you go, yeah. Luckily we stood